Liberty Media and Formula One desperately want to be just like that early to mid 2000s NASCAR. First off, they're chasing the casual fan and they're altering their product to try to capture that casual fan interest, all while wearing blinders, completely ignoring the fact that NASCAR did this, and we saw the downturn that their product and their fan base had as they try to attempt to regain those fans that they lost over the last few years. And now, Formula One, taking another page out of the NASCAR playbook here, has decided to launch a restaurant, a Formula One restaurant here in the States, multiple actually, the same way NASCAR did with the NASCAR Cafe. And if you grew up, I don't know, east of the Mississippi and have found yourself in Gatlinburg or Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at some point in your life in the early to mid 2000s, you definitely stop by one of these places if you were a NASCAR fan. And in peak theme restaurant fashion, you would walk in and they'd have a pit crew member there to sit you down. And after you finish your meal, somebody would walk up to you and they would say, hey, let me take those flat tires out of your way. And I think that's the only time I've ever heard my dad audibly go, ugh to a service member of any sort because uh, it was just very cringy. So now, Formula One, being the visionaries that they are, had decided that they're gonna do the same thing. And it infinitely looks more upscale. I mean, just look at this compared to what the NASCAR cafe used to look like. There won't be a NASCAR speed park at the Formula One uh, restaurant though, or at least in the near vicinity, which is kind of a bummer, right? Like who doesn't want to go out and race some go-karts uh, a block or two away after you've just finished a fine dining meal. There will, however, be Formula One simulators at the restaurant for you to sit down and test out your driving skills. Think Daytona USA, just um, fancier and probably more realistic. Maybe not as fun though. Either way, I don't necessarily know if having a restaurant's a great business plan, they did say that they raised $38 million for multiple restaurants, which is kind of doesn't seem like a lot of money considering you think they're going to have to buy a whole bunch of Formula One cars to hang on the wall to overlook the dining area, just like NASCAR Cafe did. Um, but I'm sure they'll have a merch store because the NASCAR Cafe had a pretty decent merch store, if I remember correctly. They're definitely not going to have a... Um, a reward center to redeem your uh, your tickets after you win them and you're not going to get a Mark Martin water bottle shaped like a gas can, which is a bummer. But at the same time, like it might be somewhat interesting, but I do love this Liberty Media and Formula One approach of just licensing themselves out, branching out, and then trying to do basically everything NASCAR did 20 years ago and spin it off as something that they've just thought about, which is always entertaining. Hopefully it doesn't come crashing down for them and hopefully they don't put all of their eggs into the American basket because ratings have continued to plateau or dip a little bit compared to 2022. And I'm not saying interest is waning. Obviously the Las Vegas Grand Prix is a perfect example of it not completely waning yet. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's a slippery slope. So follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog and like and subscribe to the channel.